Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we are going to actually start working on our school management app. So as you saw in my first video where I have shown you the demo, uh, what are the features in this school management app and what are the things you can build. Second uh, video, I've shown you how you can set up your development environment based on the machine you are using. Suppose you are using a Windows machine or Linux machine or Mac machine. Um, the steps are almost the same, uh, but first thing you need to have a development environment ready. And in the second video, I've also shown that, you know, if you're not interested in the code along, how you can download this entire app and start working on this one. Now this, from now on, all the follow-up sessions, those are for developers only. So please, wa please watch these videos if you're a developer or if you're interested in learning more about angular and firebase and if you want to make changes to this app so i will not do a like you know code along session that means i'm not going to write uh, each and every line in these videos but definitely you know i will give you uh, enough information so that you know you will have a, enough understanding about this app and uh, if needed you can make changes or like you know enhance this app so let's get it started um first thing is like you know as uh, I've, I've shown you that you already have set up your node.js uh, node environment and angular environment so open any command prompt window and any code editor of your choice as you can see my choice here is like uh, I'm using visual code um, but again up to you whatever code you want to choose Are you, so let's open a command prompt window first thing you want to do is like as always check node hyphen v so it should come back that you have a successful installation of node second thing you want to check npm npm builds in is you know you don't need a, a separate installation for npm but you know i just prefer to do that anyway last thing i want to check is ng hyphen v so it should tell you that you have an angular um, angular cli installed your machine so now um, as uh, you know i'm going to start very fresh here so let me just show you my um, directory here so this is my working directory here i'm going to collapse everything i'm going to start everything fresh so let's go back to the command prompt window okay here what i'm going to do i'm going to make a directory uh, called demo okay now cd into demo okay as you can see there is nothing inside this directory everything is blank what i want to do here ng new and i want to call it sms so school management system you can give it any name you like but uh, you know give it any meaningful name you know so that you can remember now next thing you know ng new sms so it's going to ask you do you want to set up the angular routing i'm going to say yes next question is want to ask you you want to use the cascading style sheet that means css or you want to see use advanced scss or ss versions for your style sheet i'm going to stick to uh, css in this case that's all it needs so now it's creating that you know angular app on my machine i'm going to pause my recording and i'll come back once this angular setup angular uh, project is set up on my machine you can see my angular cli has created this new project new project demo sms first thing i always you know need to check that is there is no error here as you can see everything uh, looks pretty good second thing i want to check look at open your package.json file and make sure that you it, it is using the you know the latest packages uh, i believe like you know even if in later follow up once angular upgrade is happens like you know your version 8 or 9 or whatever it comes like you know make sure that your package is always updated or if not then you know you can always go back to your app and just run an np update hyphen hyphen save and it's going to update your packages now at this point if i go to my um, this direct here cd into sms and uh, uh, as long as you know you are in the same directory where you have the package.json at this point if i do an ng serve is going to open my app and you know it's going to serve the vanilla code but i want to take a pause here because i know that you know uh, this vanilla application is not going to do anything for me now um, uh, you know i i need to i know that you know i'm going to use the angular material or for my project material in case if you don't know what material is material is a, a, an, again angular framework which provides you a lot of material components that means you know um, it's a lot better than writing html code so you can use like there are already existing framework for html like bootstrap or project clarity angular material you can think is on the same line um but again you know i highly recommend using it because it's 
it's just like you know it saves you a lot of time and uh, you know it, it this is a very pretty component very nice you know looking uh, GUI interface so you don't need to unless you if you're a designer you know feel free to use your own design but I highly recommend you checking that out so for this particular you project I'm using the angular material so now let's set up the angular material on my project so let's go to material.angular.io go to the guides getting started so first thing I think you have to go you know um, like install a couple of packages so that's why you know I didn't uh, hit that ng server at that time and I want to install these packages okay and make sure that you have that npm install hyphen fn save so what is going to do is going to save these thing is going to include these packages to your package.json file here okay now before I hit enter I want to show you one thing um, I have done it so many times so that's why that's how I know it that I need one more package it's called hammer.js okay hammer.js so all I'm going to do I'm going to you know because I'm doing the under angular material installation so I just want to complete everything in one step so I'm just going to include hammer.js as well let me hit enter what this is going to do is going to include all of those npm packages to my um, to my uh, to to this particular app okay now while the we are waiting there are a couple of other steps we need to include okay these are very simple steps uh, but uh, you know you have to you know make sure that you do everything so step number one is already done um, step number two is now you need to configure the animations okay I'll tell you in a minute you know I how I took care of these things okay now next thing is step number three so step number three is basically you have the choice so suppose you know you are using only four or five components so you can include each and every material component you are going to use and create a new module here what I have done um, that you know so, so you know I created it's it's highly recommended that you create your own material module here so what I did you know because I know that I'm going to use almost all of the material component here so what I did uh, let me just show you I created a material module here and basically let me just show you uh, it's inside the, inside that shared custom.material.ts and you can always go back to my repository I will include the link to this repos uh, repository so you, you can just copy paste as you can see I included all of the you know material components I'm going to use in my directory uh, in my app okay so feel free to copy paste this thing otherwise you know if you I know that you might argue that I'm not going to use this uh, suppose for example mat dead pick or why to include this two reasons one whenever you are building this you know uh, you do the ng build angular is smart enough to figure it out that you have not used mat dead picker anywhere in your module so it it has the tree shaking so ng build is going to get rid of that code that means your production build will not have this um, unused um, component uh, but again you know it it doesn't give, give you an excuse that if you are not using it why to include it so please you know um, get rid of this all the material component which you are not using in this particular case I'm using all of them so I'm going to include this okay let me just copy paste this entire file here it's called custom dot material I, I you know you can give it any name you want okay so basically what this is is again I'm just like you know I don't want to give you the impression that I'm not it's not a you know code along session I'm not like you know walking through entire the co entire code here basically is as simple as that instead of two um, uh, two material components here I'm going to use it a lot so that's why you know I, I just don't want to you know spend time typing in all of this thing in session okay so let me just copy paste or copy paste the entire file uh, into my VS code okay so inside this app directory uh, I'm going to create a new folder called shared S H A R T okay and inside that shared I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to call it a custom dot material dot ts okay okay and I'm going to copy paste this entire source code here that's pretty much it okay so one thing you will notice here I just um, the class name here let me show you where that is okay is this so make sure that you know once you have this module it's not going to RBC because I just manually did that so you have to import this thing uh, import that custom dot material dot module to your app dot module dot ts okay. so I also 
I need to, you know, I have imported this, but I also need to include include this to my imports array. That's pretty much it. So that looks good. So now, as you, you know, going back to this Angular material here, the second step, I mean, the mm, top three state, uh, these three steps are done. Okay. Now, next thing is, if you want to include a theme, now what this theme is, Angular is delivered with a couple of built-in themes. You can change, you can develop your own theme. But for this, in this case, I'm just going to include this, uh, uh, include this theme, which is the indigo and pink CSS. Okay. Now let's go to, and the way you include that, you need to go to your angular.json file here, okay? And in the styles, so you will see a styles.css file under src. Now let's go to the src, styles.css, and make sure you add this here. That's pretty much it, okay? Now I think the last step is, um, you have to import hammer.js to your main.ts. So let's go to main.ts file here. Okay, now let's include that hammer.js here. Right. I believe, uh, sorry, one last thing, even it says optional because I'm going to use, make use of uh, Google material icons. So please don't forget to include this link to your index.html file. So let's go to index.html file and you can just paste this thing here, okay? One last thing I want to, I highly recommend this favicon.ico by default, when Angular does the installation, it comes with this icon. So make sure that you know you use your own icon. You obviously, you know, so you don't want to use the Angular icon here. So I'm going to, you know, replace this with my, with my existing icon. Okay. So now, assets dot icon ico, and then pick any of this icon. Perfect. Okay. Now at this time, if I go and do an ng serve i believe my angular material will be ready so let's go and do an ng serve here okay. one last thing i want to do here just to make sure that my angular material is set up properly let's go to app and open that app.component.html file here okay and you know i i don't think you need this oil this boiler code here so get rid of everything next thing just to want to make sure that everything is working fine that angular is set set up correctly or not, I'm just going to say mat icon, and I'm going to put a default icon say home. So when this, um, my app is finished compiling, if I go to localhost 4200, I should see a home, or I should say, say print a message, say hello world. I should see an icon here, um, material home icon followed by this message. So let's go and wait for this to compile. You can see my app compiled pretty good. And if I go to localhost 4200, I'm seeing that icon followed by that message. So this tells me that my Angular is set up correctly. My Angular material is set up correctly. Now let's go start working on the pages. So, you know, uh, before you start, I think, you know, you always, whenever you're starting with any app, you have to have some kind of idea that what my app is going to look like, you know, how it's going to, you know, how, where the toolbar will be, what are the components, what are the different pages will be. So for example, you know, when I created this app, I created this on a, on a Word file. I said, okay, my, I will have a top bar. I will have an about us page, login page, you know, things like that. So basically at this point, I assume that you already know what are my pages going to look like, uh, what are different pages I'm going to have in my app. So for example, uh, let's see in shared. So for example, I'm going to have an about us page. I'm going to have a footer. I'm going to have a header and I'm going to have, a, you know, um, a help desk page that, you know, you click on that help icon, it should show you that. If I want to have animations, I've, I'm going to have a router animation here. Um, and the same thing, if I'm going to, I'm going to have a login pages, I'm going to have a sign up page and I'm going to have a settings page, notice notification page. So, you know, you can always go back and, you know, come back and create more pages here. But, you know, before, I, I just want to start building, when I'm start building this app, I want to create a couple of the components here. So at this point, I'm going to stop this app, okay? So at this point, I'm what I'm going to do here, ng generate component, and inside that share, I want to create a new folder here called login. And inside that login, I want to create a component called login. And I'm going to say skip tests 
So what this command is going to do, and uh, using Angular CLI, it's going to create that login component inside share. It will create a different directory called login, and inside that login, it will create a component called login dot component. I'm going to say skip test equals to true. What this means is is not going to generate an spec file. And second thing is I'm going to pass another parameter, say flat equals to uh, true. So that means like you know is not going to create a subfolder. If I if I say flat equals to fault, uh, false, what is going to do inside the login to create a new folder, which I want to avoid that. So let me quickly do this thing here. Okay. And at the same time, you know, I want to generate other components. So inside the share, I will have a, as you can see, it created this three component, three files, login.component.html file, TypeScript file, CSS file, and it also includes everything into the app.module.ts. Now, since I already know that I'm going to have all of these pages in my app, what I'm going to do, uh, I, you know, instead of wasting your time, uh, so for example, let me generate one more component here. So here, uh, say sign up and I'm going to have sign up here I also want to have a header and footer and uh, let's uh, wait for this to finish okay now header and footer I just want to don't want to create a new directory here I'll just put header and I am going to say footer you know so instead of wasting your time what i'm going to do basically all i'm going to do here i'm going to generate all the components and i will you know come back i'll resume my recording when everything is done uh, one thing different i will do here i want to show you how to create the services but again it's a very similar command so ng ngs that means ng generate service and i'm going to put i i know that i will need two different services here so inside that services directory I will have a backend service, okay? Uh, let me spell it right, backend, and I'm going to have a auth card service, okay? So I'm going to generate two services here, and once this is done, I'll come back and resume my report recording. Let me just show you, in case if you want to refer, like, you know, what, my, what, uh, what exactly the name I'm using. Uh, so again, as you can see, I'm using the third service, but please ignore this because I don't think I'm using this one. So I'm going to, you know, generate two services, and I'm going to generate, all other components um, so so that my infrastructure so that my app skeleton is ready so and in next videos in like you know in next section i'm going to start working on the individual pages